Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Monday, so it's meal prep day. I have a healthy, whole food focused meal prep and everything, spoiler alert, is really, really good. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a meal prep every Monday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below where you will find nutrition coaching, highly recommend personalized macros and calories. This is how I have lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for support, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things, and of course my free supportive Facebook group, we would love to have you, are all down in that description box. So let's head on into the kitchen for this week's meal prep. For breakfast this week, I'm making baked cranberry oatmeal. This is going to be nice, whole food. I'm so excited for this. Oatmeal or rolled oats are such a great choice of a complex carb. And since I eat breakfast after my workout, this is perfect. So let me show you what you'll need. First, you're going to need a light butter, cinnamon, vanilla extract or vanilla bean paste, salt, baking powder, rolled oats, milk of your choice. I'm going to use Carb Master Plain because it has a lot of protein. And then I'm going to use Lakanto Maple Syrup. This is my favorite sugar-free syrup. No caramel coloring. That is one thing I try to avoid in syrup. I just think it tastes the most authentic like regular syrup. I do have a 15% off site-wide discount for Lakanto. I'll link it down below. You're also going to need one egg and some fresh or frozen cranberries and you'll need two ripe bananas. So to get started on our baked oatmeal, grab out a medium to large bowl. You're going to add your two cups of rolled oats and one teaspoon of baking powder. And then stir to mix your dry ingredients all together. And we're going to add our two cups of milk, one third cup Lakanto sugar-free syrup, one egg, one tablespoon melted light butter, and vanilla extract, and stir to combine. We're going to pull out an eight by eight baking dish. We're going to slice the two bananas and just place these slices in the bottom of the baking dish. Then I added half of my cranberries over the bananas, set the other half aside. Then we're going to take our oat mixture and pour that right on top and spread that out nice and even. You want to kind of tap it on the counter so these oats get fully immersed in the liquid. And then we're going to sprinkle the remaining cranberries right on top. We're putting this into a 375 degree oven for about 35 to 40 minutes. Look at how amazing this baked oatmeal looks. I'm so excited for this for the week. I will go ahead and put serving size, points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. I'm going to pair this with some protein, maybe some eggs, turkey bacon, bacon, maybe some yogurt, but this is going to give me everything I needed in a nice complex carbohydrate. So for my lunch this week, I'm making a ground turkey mushroom rice soup. I've been craving soup. It's officially winter in Arizona. So this is going to be a perfect protein packed meal. We've got vegetables. We've got a carb in the rice. I'm excited for this. So let me show you what you'll need. You're going to need fresh mushrooms, 99% ground turkey. You could also use 93%, whatever your preference is. You could even use 96 ground beef, a zucchini, fresh or dried oregano, green onions, carrots. I'm going to cook my rice in my dash rice maker because it makes my life so easy. You guys know how much I love this. I bought this on Amazon. I'll link it down below for you. You'll also need rosemary and turmeric and dried mint, which I don't have. I wish I had fresh mint and even fresh rosemary. You can do all fresh or dried herbs, salt and pepper, and then I'm going to be making up some jasmine rice. So the first thing I'm going to do is add one cup of dry rice to my rice cooker, and then I'm going to do one and a half cups of water. Pop the lid on, set it to cook, and literally the rice is perfect every time. Then I'm going to peel and dice my carrots, slice my green onions, slice up my zucchini, chop up my fresh oregano and chop up my mushrooms. So I have my stock pot over medium heat sprayed with some nonstick cooking spray. I'm going to add in my pound of ground turkey and we're going to allow this to brown. 
I'm going to add in a little bit of salt and pepper. And then we're adding in our chopped up mushrooms and we're going to allow those to cook for about two to four minutes. We want them to start to soften. Once your mushrooms have started to soften, we're going to go ahead and add in the chopped carrots, the chopped zucchini and the green onion, rosemary, turmeric, and some pepper. And then I'm going to use chicken broth. You can also use water, whatever your preference is. We're going to add about a cup or so. We want to kind of cover these veggies. And then give that a stir to combine all of those herbs. Your lid back on and allow that to cook for another five minutes. Soup smells so good. I am going to add in my chopped up fresh oregano and I'm going to allow that to kind of simmer with the soup for another couple minutes. And then our last step is to add in the cooked rice. I'm going to add in about half of my cooked rice. We made two cups total. So I'm going to add in one cup and see if that's enough. I may not need to use both full cups of cooked rice. Let me go ahead and turn the heat off and stir in the rice. If we can avoid using both cups, it's going to save us points, calories, carbs. So I'm going to, again, see if one cup is enough. Oh yeah, that is plenty. You can see that there is quite a bit of rice in the soup. So I'm going to just put the other cup in the fridge. Troy will definitely eat that. And we're getting, and then that way we only used one cup of cooked rice in the soup. For a sweet treat this week, I'm going to be making little individual high protein berry crumbles in my little ramekin. So let me show you what you'll need. These are the ramekins I'm using. I got these on Amazon. I'll link them down below for you. You could even cook this in one big baking dish, whatever your preference is. I just thought that the little individual ones would be kind of fun for the week. You're going to need rolled oats, almonds. I have these dry roasted almonds. You could use plain almonds, whatever your preference is. Sugar alternative of your choice. I'm using my Lakanto granulated. You guys already know it's my favorite sugar substitute. And don't forget, I do have a 15% off discount code site-wide for Lakanto. Lemon juice. I don't quite have enough, but I do have some fresh lemons. So you can do fresh lemon juice or the lemon juice in the little container. Then you're going to need some protein powder. Now the recipe calls for vanilla. You can use whatever you would like. I have vanilla. I have cake batter from Clean Simple Eats. You know this is my favorite favorite protein powder. I absolutely love this. So I'm going to use one package, which is essentially one scoop of protein powder. Highly recommend Clean Simple Eats. If you haven't tried it, you're missing out truly on the best protein powder. I do have a 10% discount code. I'll put it down below for you. And then you're going to need frozen berries of your choice. I'm using blueberries. So the first thing that you're going to do is take your little ramekin. I'm going to add half of a cup of frozen blueberries to the bottom. And then I'm going to sprinkle a teaspoon of Lakanto granulated right on top. And then go ahead and set that aside. And then into a bowl, I'm going to add my packet of Clean Simple Eats protein. One quarter cup of rolled oats and two tablespoons of lemon juice. And then go ahead and stir that together. Your mixture is going to be pretty dry. And then I'm going to just roughly chop up 10 almonds. And then I'm going to put my almonds in with this with the crumble mixture and stir them in. And then we're going to take the crumble and top our berries, kind of press that into place, making basically a crust or a topping over those berries. So here is what the ramekin of crumble should look like. I'm going to set this aside and put together three more. So our little individual high protein berry crumbles are going into a 350 degree oven for about 15 minutes. So here are the little individual high protein berry crumbles. I am so excited for this. This is going to be the perfect dessert. This would even be a great breakfast. 
These smell and look incredible. So I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. Thank you for joining me for this week's whole food focused meal prep. I hope you are as excited about these recipes as I am. As always, my recipes are on my recipe website. It is linked at the top of the description box along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things as well as the items I shared with you in today's video and my Facebook group. Come join us, we'd love to have you. Happy Monday friends, here is to an amazing week reaching our 2024 goals. I'll see you in the next video, bye.